All right, so let's go to look at um, number six. Discuss the character of Desiree and Desiree's baby. Why do you think that she is not more empowered? Explain. So I mentioned that earlier. Um, again, there's, you know, there's part of me, of course, that wants Desiree to like pack up, say, see you later, Armand, go back to Madame Valmond, move north, you know, <laughs> with her baby and, and, you know, get a job and move on, move forward in her life, right? Um, it just wasn't that time period that that was a, a, a normal at all, right? So, um, and, and the thing that, that I think keeps us connected is that we still have the same feelings that folks did back then. She was heartbroken. Uh, she was devastated, right? Um, that she's been, she's, you know, married. She's in love with her spouse. She's been totally rejected. Um, she has a, a little baby. She doesn't know what's going to happen to her, to happen to the baby. She's upset. She's despondent. You know, so just, you kind of have to put yourself, uh, again, in that time period. Okay, so let's look now at um, seven. It says, what is Kate Chopin saying about marriage in the 19th century in the story of an hour? Back to the story of an hour again. Uh, what do you think? Remember, Kate Chopin is the author, so don't get her mixed up with the um, protagonist of the story. So I'm saying Kate Chopin, the author, what is she saying about marriage in the 19th century? I mean, this is really your opinion, but it's your informed opinion that you must show evidence from the text, right? So, you know, like, so, you know, she wants to... There's nothing about in the story that says she can't travel. You want to be very clear about that. But she does appear to want her own dreams, though. There's some evidence to that. I'll just say that. Um, and she says that, you know, like when she looks out the window with the new spring quivering life, right, that like she just seems to have this idea when she says that it was just, a little bit ago that she was thinking oh the days were are so long and now she's she's saying that yes life could be long you know like that she's excited about it like she hopes it is long right because all of a sudden maybe she could have her dreams come true like very often it was very common um that again women were not working often and i mean they might be working in something like need to have some money um as far as again you know things helping sort of ways but but not normally as a career and 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 sometimes one had to put one's dreams aside right um if one was married and one's spouse died uh, one certainly could get remarried um but but you didn't have to if you were financially okay you didn't have to and that would that would give you maybe a little more independence um that you could pursue maybe whatever it is your own dream it looks that she's maybe thinking about what she could do with her life and of course, when you know things turn out as they do, things things there's a twist there, right? Um, so, but what do you think Kate Chopin is saying about marriage in the 19th century? And think about what I said about her other writings, and how she was a bit ahead of her time, and all of that, right? So it's your opinion, but you need evidence from the story. You can also use evidence um, from. You could talk about the biography of Kate Chopin. That's in literature and writers you could you could uh you could quote this this lecture video uh <laughs> well miss ryan said in uh you know in the video that was fine that's evidence right that's fine all right uh you could you could look up the the bio that i read from right from the vcu.edu that um you know you could quote from that that's fine that's all you just need your evidence but it is fine to quote class lecture and, and this is our format for that right now all right, so then it says, number eight, why do you think Mrs. Mallard says of Mr. Mallard that she loved him, quote, sometimes, explain, and give evidence from the story for your idea? So it said she loved him sometimes. Often she did not, is what it says. That's the quote uh, from the story, right? Well, what are they saying? Uh, and I've had folks say, well, does that mean they had an arranged marriage? Probably not. Uh, most people did in the United States at this time marry for love. Um, so that is probably not the case, but it doesn't mean that economics were no issue whatsoever. Again, it was mainly men that had careers, um, so it's not that that was no concern, um, but it, it does kind of, you know, perhaps um, 
which is perhaps it speaks to the nature of a long-term marriage that maybe it's not all hearts and flowers that kind of thing it also could be um I said that once in a class a student told me that is very depressing and it's February it's the month of love <laughs> so you don't have to accept that view at all but it could be that that when one continually has one's dreams put aside for the other person that perhaps that is um kind of you know dampens the flame of it or something so you get to decide it's your opinion but it has to be based on evidence from the text and that's where you need to provide that evidence right okay and then it says number nine are there any similarities in the relationships in these two stories and relationships today explain what differences are common between these relationships and those of today i'm not really asking you to compare desiree and mrs mallard no i'm really asking you to compare mrs mallard with somebody today or desiree with somebody today so i'm asking you to are there any similarities that you would that would still resonate and you might go oh no <laughs> Thank the Lord. We have moved on from all that, right? And we have in many ways. And yes, we, we are, we, that's a good thing, right? But I bet you, I bet you, if you think about it, you know, there might be somebody in your family, maybe a friend's family or something, and they might be older, you know, that they um, still adhere to more of a traditional view uh, of, the, of these sorts of things, right? Um, you know, I've definitely known folks that um, they had a very traditional marriage and it was the husband that really made all the decisions and, and that sort of thing and where the wife was resentful of that. Uh, and But yet kind of just stayed within that format still. So um, if you know someone like that, you could compare, uh, you don't have to give any names and nobody's going to read it except me, but you could compare that person. Um, uh, with with uh, you know the, the the protagonist in the story of an hour, you could also compare Desiree. So for example, this yes, we're in a different time period, and we are grateful for that. Um, but are have you ever been, or do you know someone that is um, you know in, in in a marriage that or a relationship even that it's it's interracial and were there was there anyone that judged them for that well there you go now you're going to compare with Desiree right I mean it doesn't mean it has to be exactly the same that's going to be hard to find but no it's just like what are how is it the same or different comparison and, and even contrast right how is how is that um, the same or different right so so and it doesn't you don't have to stick with like with the Desiree situation uh, you don't have to stick only with race it could be ethnicity it could be um religion sometimes people are um you know they're 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 different religions and people i think most people don't aren't too today aren't really worried about that maybe i'm wrong but but sometimes people were really really worried about that in the past i mean i can you just think of my own parents when they got married my dad was catholic and my mother was protestant and uh, you know, there were there were some family concerns there, right? And but it all got worked out. Everybody loved each other. It's all good. Right? But but the thing is, is that there are there is some of that thinking of the past still lingers, right? So so this is why it's asking you to look at these stories, kind of the human conditions and the situations that people were dealing with. Are people still dealing with any aspect of that today, right? Uh, so and I would ha and you don't want to just uh, if that's a quiz question I wouldn't just say no this I, I can't you know I can't think of how to compare that we'll try because you want to get the points <laughs> so so try to think ahead of time right okay uh, so then it says um, identify three facts about Kate Chopin Ooh, that that looks like a good question right so you might want to look at that bio um, and then also I. There's times I ask, I'm going to just give you this tip, there are times I ask about how you personally can connect with one of these stories and what way can you connect with my stories. And you don't want to just say, I can't connect. Well, that's not giving yourself a, a fighting chance to do well, right? So kind of think about it. Think, I would think about that now. Could be a bonus question, right? Think about, well, have you ever felt 
abandoned or rejected like Desiree did? Have you, uh, have you been adopted? Have you adopted a child? Do you know someone who was adopted? Um, have you ever experienced racism? Like that's in the story. Do you know anybody who has? That's in the story. Do you, uh, have you ever been in a relationship that was um, interracial or, or your different religions or, uh, you know, anything like that, right? Um, is there, have you ever been in a relationship where someone was kind of, kind of not letting you pursue your dreams? Or maybe they didn't quite say that, but you just got the idea that you were supposed to put them first. Maybe it wasn't their issue at all but you thought you were supposed to do that for some reason. I mean, it, any of these things, any of these issues, right? The other thing I wanted to say about the story of an hour is that I've had students say, well, well, was, why is it that sometimes she said she didn't love him? Was he abusive? There is no evidence in the text that he was anything but, um, but good to her. Uh, in fact, it says he never looked on her with anything but love. So no, I don't think that's it. Um, at least I don't see any evidence in the text. I think that it, that Kate Chopin is questioning the nature of the traditional marriage in the 19th century where women um, put their dreams and goals aside to support their spouse. I think that is more uh, where she is coming from. All right, so that's the overview. Um, thank you so much. And do let me know if I can answer uh, any questions. I'd be happy to do that.